I'm so excited for this 2022. Seems like everything now is kind of normal. Feel healthy, feeling good, ready for this year to get kicked off. Even though we're starting this tournament out in, here in a bad major winter storm, I'm really excited for the week and just excited for this year, really. nice little store oh yeah we got some crappie fishing stuff now see i could sit here all day and look at all these crappie jigs mm. where is wally marshall's miss crappie stuff anytime you get around wally marshall you call it mrs crappie anytime you see wally don't worry about it she say i love your miss crappie stuff shad pole's good i'm serious when you see wally marshall call it miss crappie he loves it called that I may uh, spend the bulk of my off day today buying crappie lures. I'll catch a bass on that right there this week. I will catch a largemouth bass on that bait right there this week. Look at here. Don't really need those today. Temperatures in the 30s, pouring down rain. They were expected ice today. We might should have practiced today and high been wind. off tomorrow. High winds too. Yeah, they were predicted high winds. So anytime we have, what a lot of people don't realize is, is insurance and policies that are put into place with major league fishing. But there's businesses that are involved and, you know, that make up major league fishing that are invested in it. And so we have to go by their policies and insurance and things like that. So safety is, uh, first and foremost and so yeah there was a chance that we and could we're get... still not out of the clear going into tomorrow that's right that's right so all 80 guys you'll see them all through town today in walmarts and uh, bait, shop. okay, bait shops bait shops will get a lot of gift emporium mm -hmm. so this is what we do we just kind of hang out and play the waiting game can't really work on your tackle or nothing like that because the covers on your boat, so. Look, buddy. How are you? Oh, good to see you. <laughs> no, don't do that. Hey, buddy. How are you? Well, guess I better pay for this chicken salad. Well, that's a wrap for lunch. We're gonna go and uh, I guess watch some TV. Can't really get in the boat. Do much today with this nasty weather, but. Uh, yeah, whenever you have a weather delay like this, you just make the most of it. You get to know your roommates a lot better and all their dark secrets. I have one goal in fishing, and it is to fish as hard as I can every tournament, honor God, leave the results up to Him. And I wanna win every tournament. I wanna win Red Crest, I wanna win Angler of the Year, I wanna win it all but I'm very content with the results of each tournament because I keep this sport in perspective. I know there's gonna be good, I know there's gonna be some bad, and I know there's gonna be everywhere in between. Working hard every tournament is my main goal, really. Yeah, I wanna you know, have the trophies and the money and all the glam and all that to go with it, but working hard each tournament is my most focus. Just what the doctor ordered down here in Louisiana. Ice, Florida spring bath, and 28 degree temperatures, freezing ice. But hey, whoever said it was gonna be easy? If it was easy, anybody could do it. We're gonna go out today and try to figure it out on our day one, only day of practice that we're gonna have down here at Lake Darbone, stage one. Let's go make it happen. Must have hit it, hit the button wrong. All right, let's go make it happen. These fish are gonna be grouped up somewhere. I don't look for it to be just a pattern you can run all over the lake. I think 
these cold temperatures really congregate fish, especially in the winter time. You learn a lot about that in crappie fishing. So I'm gonna go to areas that I feel like there should be a concentration of. I, I wanna think about where the shad would be, what the shad would be doing in this cold weather. And that's gonna help dictate where I look for, of course the bass are going, they're going with them. They're not gonna shut down feeding. All right, let's see what kind of mood these Dabon bass are on. If they're on these trees, that could be really good because there's a ton of them. All cypress trees have low hanging limbs and it's all about being able to cast efficiently around them. A lot of times you have to cast way around, make a big loop and then bring your line underneath and get underneath those limbs. Here we go, Tanner. Big toothy critter. I just don't want him to get my crankbait. There's one, Tanner. He's not quite a 1.8, but he's not cold to the touch either. One condition you don't like in bass fishing is cold, muddy water. That's a bad time. You mix in muddy water into the equation, sometimes it's tough to get a bite. It's snowing in Louisiana. Really? Jiminy Christmas. I bet these bass don't see a lot of this type of weather. This is, this is crazy weather, man. I'm not that tore up about it. I mean, I, I enjoy fish. I'm used to fishing in this kind of weather. Crappie fishing. I crappie fish all winter. Snow, ice. But trying to figure out bass and this stuff is, it's gonna be difficult. Where I crappie fish, those crappie are used to the cold weather. These, these bass are not used to this cold weather. It's gonna be interesting. See how this one plays out. On this first tournament, you, you got to work really hard that first day to put yourself in a good position. You know, you put it in perspective and know that always isn't gonna happen, but your main goal is to get off to a good start because that really helps your mental game throughout the rest of the season. So we're at Lake Darbone. This is a 15,000 plus acre lake in Louisiana. It doesn't normally get this cold down here in Louisiana, but nice lake, stained water, lots of obstacles as far as running and everything here it looks really good but this is the only part of this lake that looks really good when you go up that arm it is solid timber once you cross where you can't really see anymore same thing up this arm same thing up that arm until you get down by the dam so you got really three arms little darbone i don't really know the name of that big area and this is just kind of the lower end of the lake but obstacles is the theme of this lake. I do a lot of just preparing for the upcoming season by spending a lot of time with family, soaking it in, spending a lot of time in a deer stand, you know, talking to the Lord, uh, the guy that made all these fish. So that's just my way of preparing for the upcoming season, really. Focused on my health, focused on my family, my relationship with Christ. That prepares me for an upcoming year more than anything else, really. Just a tip, don't ever unhook the front when it's icy. Just saying. I am excited for the start of the season. It's gonna be a good day, I hope. First good sign. I'm just gonna work on a few things here. I practice till late, so when they changed the time, I decided just to practice as long as I could yesterday to maximize practice time. I knew we'd have enough time for me to rig a couple of rods. So this is a torn tendon and I didn't think it was that bad but it is the ligament right here is torn you can see that big knot and uh, this one does not have it you can see the difference big knot there no knot there um, so we got to have surgery or just trying to get through the season because 
The surgery takes nine weeks of recovery to heal properly and I didn't have nine weeks this winter. Lots going on with cups and just other obligations So and deer season and crappie fishing. Try to get through the season this year with taping it up. What I can't do is let this finger extend this way. So I got to tape it to the next one and that keeps it in place and keeps me from pulling it out of whack. So yeah, we'll have surgery this summer. Just words of the wise. Don't put the tape on first, because then the glove doesn't go on properly. You know, you see that old beat up Hyper Mag there with battle scars on it. You'd think a guy on loose pro staff get a new reel every now and then. And I do, but these old ones are good ones. They broke in good. Me and it have had time together. So I did get me a couple of these custom lights this year. And the famous words of Greg Hackney, He was the 2018 FLW Angler of the Year and an eight-time winner. He's from Wynn, Arkansas. He represents Strike King and Lose. It's Mr. Mark Rowe. Here we go. The start of 2022, stage one, day one. It's going to be a tough day and tough fishing. I'm going to go out, focus, fish hard, fish slow. Just let the chips fall where they may at the end of the day. Well, obviously it wasn't the day I wanted, just a, just a poor day of fishing. It was really, I think, the decision making that hurt me today because the third period, I should have stayed right, I should have stayed in the area I fished all day. And I really feel like I could have caught two more up there in that third period, but I went and tried to make something big happen. Didn't, yeah, I'm behind the eight ball now. A little disappointing, got a lot of work to do tomorrow. I mean, that's the first half. How many ball games have you seen one in the second half? And try to figure out this little trend, this little warming, warming trend in the afternoon. That's gonna be the key. If you can figure out where these fish will pull up to in the afternoon, you can really make some hay. And when I say make hay, I mean catch three fish. You do that, you can really separate yourself and that's the plan for the next day. Well, here we are, day two. Got a good night's rest, right at two pounds off of where I need to be. I need to have one good, you know, one extra bite today, basically. I'm thinking of red crest. I'm thinking of heavy hitters. I'm thinking of making this cut. I'm gonna go back in there where I think I need to be and try to get, you know, one good bite and then uh, just put my head down and focus and hopefully I'll get some more to go along with it. We need four good bites today. We just gotta go make it happen. Looking forward to it. Yeah, the sun is starting to come up already today. It's been out the past couple of days in the afternoons. The bad thing about it is these 20 degree nights are, we're losing what we gain in the middle of the day with water temperature at night. We're just gonna, you know, hope that water warms up this afternoon a little bit, stay focused and be more prepared in that th third period than I was the first day. And that, that is gonna be the key, our third period today. gave it all we had today got the right bites to get me up where I needed to be 
I just didn't uh, get that one extra bike to put me in. I really have no regrets, man. I, I said I was gonna go up there and stay in that one little backwater area with cypress trees and full of hydrilla, and I just knew I could get four or five bikes in there today. I felt like I could get one each period and then I was gonna get two one period. It just didn't happen in there, man. I don't, I'm gonna be driving back to Arkansas, scratching my head and wondering why that little area didn't produce any more fish but hey man i i felt like i picked a good area uh, ended up not being but it looked good it felt right so you gotta go with the decisions you make in this sport and i used to get all uptight over it but hey i gave it all i had I honored god in the process and i just left the results up to him which is my motto and i'll be content driving back home tonight still got a lot of fire wish i would have made it but hey you gotta move on to the next one. I'm not gonna let this one get me down. I'm still pumped, ready for the rest of the season.